we signed our first lease uh, for a restaurant. Actually, this is hard to believe, but we signed it in May. Right as we signed it, we started work, and we opened our first restaurant on uh, Brown Street down on the University of Dayton campus, July uh, 15th of 1994. Um, so that was the start of our company. And then we've progressed and done about a store a year since then. And then the other concept, Milano's, and we brought Brad aboard in uh, 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. Yeah. Milano's was right across the street from our home office, and we all loved the food. We'd go there probably once, twice a week, and we'd go in there. The food was outstanding, but back then we would see things that were a little bit different than what we would do. And we used to kind of joke around a little bit, man, if we had Milano's, we could do this or that. And lo and behold, one day the ownership of Milano's approached David and said, would you be interested in buying our concept? What we saw was a great opportunity. There were great recipes, great tradition, and uh, so what we wanted to do was take what we love to do, and that is put systems and routines and cleanliness and other types of uh, uh, you know, casual dining uh, components to great food. So that was kind of the thought process that was behind it. The biggest difference between the aileron classwork and just traditional classes are, when you leave the other classes, you're on your own. I mean, and that is the true, that's the essence of the difference is when you leave a class, for instance, when you leave the boards class, if we had to just form the board on our own afterwards or go out and find board members, we would have probably not done it. You know, we probably would have said, that's a great idea, we should do it, and then we probably wouldn't have followed through. Versus when you're done with the class here, all of a sudden, a week later, you're getting a call from Bill hey, we need to meet again. I think and, I may have someone that'd be great for your board right. and, you know, let's get together and have lunch and right. talk about it. And, and let's know. validate, you know, the, val the word validate. Let's sit down and make sure that we, we understand exactly what you want for your board. What are your weaknesses? What are you trying to fill? And then Bill starts bringing up different names of people. And then not only that, you start to feel, and this, I'm trying to find the right word here, but it's a positive pressure. Because the last thing you want to do, when you have somebody that's given that much of their time, when Bill and Eric and Dave, when they're given all of their time, the last thing that you want to do is let them down. I, I think we're a lot more analytical now um, in that we don't just do things because it sounds good. Although that's a big part of our entrepreneurial makeup inside of us. Um, we actually take time to to look at things a little differently, to ask the question, you know, if we do this, what will be the possible outcomes? And uh, all the way from what should be our exit strategy at the end, you know, will we have enough capital to do this in the proper way? Um, what are the roadblocks? What are the reasons that we should or should not do it? And really take a look at it. Um, and not that we haven't always had that to us, but I think we do that a lot more now than we did before. Whereas before it sounded great, it's Milano's. We want to do it. And we just kind of would jump and, and run and go at it. We've been fortunate that some of those decisions we made back then, um, we've been able to um, you know, muscle our way through and uh, maybe make up for some of our lack of strategic plan that was maybe, the, you know, the building blocks were there, but maybe we didn't have the perfect plan. I think our course was charted and we were going down a good path before we came to Aileron, but that path now has, uh, I guess, been more solidified or, it's it's brought us to a point where we can throw out some of the minutiae on the sides and really focus on our business and help us focus on our business versus sort of shotgun approach here here we can really laser beam and, and go this direction with 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 Aaron and our business. We've got somebody from the outside that's one of our biggest cheerleaders, always has something positive to say but at the same time isn't gonna be afraid to say, you know, you need to really look at this. You need to think about this. Um, would tell you honestly what, what you're doing right and what you're not. Absolutely. And uh, there's nothing bad. I mean, as young entrepreneurs, that's what you need is somebody that's there that's... We'll tell you how it is yeah. with sage advice. I'd say no, it's just the opposite. We probably feel more pressure because we've set a different level of expectations. You know, what was the bar's been raised? The bar's been raised completely. And that's both the, the good thing and it's also the challenging side of things because every time you raise that bar. But what's interesting is based on aileron, when you raise that bar, they give you the confidence to go out and do it because you know you have the support structure, but the confidence that you gain here 
and the knowledge you gain and the amount of patience and tools, understanding and tools that Bill will give you, Eric will give you, and like David said, the support. It's unbelievable. I can tell you every time I leave here and I serve on a few other boards, I feel better about myself. I really do. I feel more confident walking back into my business saying, today I'm going to make a better impact based on being associated with this organization. And it, it's, I think, made me a better person and a better businessman as well.